welcome everybody. I'm back on the coast, back on the beach in Bridlington, uh, trying to get some more turnstones. But today I'm trying to do things a bit different. I'm trying to get some different pictures. Uh, so what I've been trying to do is get running shots of the turnstones running along the beach. That's been really, really challenging. I was trying to get those running shots yesterday and it was so much fun but it was just so difficult and so uncomfortable as well um, and I was really struggling at first I was kneeling down just kneeling down in the sand hand holding panning and it got so uncomfortable but it's funny after a while you just don't kind of notice the discomfort because you're just enjoying it too much and you're concentrating so hard I think the problem I was having is that my, it was my technique I was just a little bit out of practice and I was kind of trying to move the camera rather than pan from my waist and when I started panning from my waist properly and tracking the movement my hit rate just went up massively I just started nailing them and at the moment I'm in a situation where the tide is coming in uh, quite rapidly I just had to move out of the way um, or all my camera gear would have disappeared so hopefully this is going to push the birds up there's a lot of turnstones out there kind of along the shoreline at the moment and hopefully that's going to push the birds up toward, towards where I am now. Uh, there's a lot of rocks here as well so hopefully they're going to come up onto the rocks. Today I'm using manual exposure with auto ISO so I can set the shutter speed and the aperture and then let the ISO change if the light changes a bit and, and I'm going with a bit of plus compensation which depends on kind of where the birds are so if I'm able to change it quick enough I'll do that. If, um, if they're more against the rocks then I'm going about plus two thirds and if they, oh it's a red shank. Uh, if they're against the water, it's so much brighter, I'm going about plus one and a third, that's giving about the right exposure. Now today it's very overcast, loads of cloud around today, so the ISO is going up really high to like, I think 1600 and beyond that, maybe even up to 3200. Um, 
but I'm keeping the shutter speed about one thousandth of a second. Ideally, you want it probably two thousandths or even more for these kind of running shots of the turnstones. It was a bit different yesterday because it was much sunnier, so the ISO was going down much lower, sort of keeping the same shutter speed and aperture, uh, but the ISO was going lower just because it was so much brighter. The problem with that yesterday was when the sun did, did come out, it was just so much contrast, uh, and it was very difficult to expose the whites, and sometimes I was actually even having to go minus, like minus a third or minus two thirds, because of the bright lights, sometimes they're against a darker background. So it's all about your background, really, for exposure compensation, but it can be really, really difficult. It's just so much fun just following those turnstones as they're sprinting along the sand, on that wet sand, uh, just being then on the beach, kneeling down, just following them around. I don't think there's much I could do that's more fun than that. I just absolutely love it. right behind me, it's not even bothered at all. I've just wrecked the lens on my vlogging camera because I was getting too frustrated and I just, I've just ragged it too much and it's stuck at 28 millimeter so uh, I'll have to hold it a bit far away. I managed to fix it, kind of. That was such great fun as it always is here. The best running shots I've ever got. And some of the reflections, some of them look absolutely spot on. If you enjoyed this video then click the link on the video on the screen which is me here doing a very similar thing using a frying pan.